Lad Casillas and his husband own Riscate Coffee Shop in Elk Grove. They've made it a safe place for anyone who's struggling with suicide. And we wanted to be able to offer a place where people could come to just to feel safe. They need to talk to someone uh, so other families don't experience what I had to go through. He lost his brother Scott to suicide. My brother passed away 15 years ago. Uh, it was July or June 13th, 2004. Uh, I got a call from my, my parents at two in the morning saying there was an accident. He's not the only one. I've lost two. But my sister also committed suicide okay. um, back in 2013, so it's also very personal to me. Yeah. It's not just... And we're in a, a rare family. You know, we all have something in common that, uh, even if it's a tragedy from some other uh, person's death or passing, it's different when it's suicide. And there's just, there's a different stigma to it, and we gotta break that stigma. My sister found the stigma almost just as painful as the <laughs> mental illness that she was experiencing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, so you, I mean, uh, you've gone through this too. How long ago was it? 2013. Okay, so so it's fairly new. It feels fairly new, for yeah. sure. I mean, it's something you think about every day, but it's also the times that you don't expect. Mm -hmm. It's usually the happy times when mm -hmm. you're most reminded of that loss, and yeah. I think that's something I would have never understood had I not gone through it. Yeah. Led says he wants to do his part to end the stigma. I just, I think overall, Awareness of suicide, mental health issues, is something we've got to get out of that stigma about. We've got to talk about it. We've got to make it as commonplace as talking about cancer now. Because uh, cancer used to be the same thing. You never said the C word. Um, but now you can talk about it. And we need to be able to talk about suicide too. So he's made it a part of his business. Our staff knows to call either my husband or myself. If someone should come in, we're both trained in assist training. So applied suicide intervention skills training. Uh, so we're able to talk to someone should they find themselves in that, that situation.